Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be going through the International Women's Day Boss Rush Challenge. Uh, I have not done it yet. Uh, you saw that it was new, so I haven't even gone in here, but I did look at some videos. That's the team that I'm going in here with. All right, we've got Archangel and Apocalypse as my heavy hitters, Cable for the synergy with Apocalypse, uh, Havoc I brought in just for some flavor and fun, and Void to handle that Sorcerer Supreme. All right, so first up, we've got Elsa Bloodstone. Now, ideally, you want to bring in a mutant against her or don't bleed her, okay? So let's take a look at the nodes here. You got Distract. Uh, you have bleed vulnerability, so you want to bleed her, but if you don't bleed her with a mutant, you're going to degen to death. Uh, you've got life transfer, which is also quite nice, all right? But uh, Archangel can do this fight, but I had another plan because I want Archangel to be a horseman. So I'm going in here first with Apocalypse. Now, Apocalypse is more than just a champ to make horsemen. He's actually legit good. Okay, so you see I'm just parrying and putting some heavy attacks, which puts bleeds. So I've got the dish track covered. You know, it's stacking those bleeds. All right, and what I'm about to do, I've got the uh, incinerate on her now because of the node. Um, but watch what happens when I fire off a nice special attack from Apocalypse. Okay, just get some more debuffs on her. Make sure that I have enough in order to uh, uh, get the dish track taken care of. And then I go in for the kill. One special two. One and done. Apocalypse is a beast. You see his health? Yeah. Very nice. Now, I already knew that this was going to be a relatively easy run mainly because I saw people doing this with four stars and uh, doing quite well. All right, so next up, we've got Sorcerer Supreme. Now, I wasn't gonna bring Archangel in here for this. He might be able to do this one, I'm not sure. Um, but you can see the nose that we're dealing with here. That Arc Overload, uh, he can shut it down with his neurotoxins. Um, but I brought in Void for this particular fight. And uh, I believe Void uh, does quite well against Sorcerer Supreme. All right, now, uh, one issue and why you don't see me fight with Void a lot is that I'm running suicides. And Void, ideally, you wanna spam his special one. So that means I'm gonna be taking a lot of recoil damage. But because of the node, look at how much block damage I take. Just look at that damage, okay? So right now, I have to finish this fight pretty quickly because I'm taking damage from my recoil. I'm taking a lot of block damage. I have not gotten hit yet. And I'm nearing half my health, okay? But once we get going and get those debuffs on, like we got two petrified, so she's not gonna heal. And when that arc overload hits like that, um, She's going to be getting all of that back in damage, okay? And you see her health is starting to melt, all right? No regen or, you know, uh, the uh, petrifies are uh, going to reverse. I also have despair. I don't have despair mastery maxed out, um, but just one point. And as you can see, we were able to take her down without too much difficulty. But you saw how much health I had left at the end of that fight. If I had gotten hit, even a one five hit combo, and I most likely would not have been able to finish that fight. All right, but Void is a great counter uh, for her. And uh, uh, I may do that uh, in, in another run when I'm going for the other profiles. All right, so now I'm gonna be bringing in Archangel. So you saw I activated the Horseman ability pre-fight. You can see it up there at the top. So the next mutant that I bring in is going to be a horseman and that is going to be archangel okay you see all of the nodes we have to deal with stun vulnerability heavy hitter uh all of this stuff but here's the thing about archangel even if he wasn't a horseman he's still excellent for this fight 
first of all, his abilities can't be reduced. So he can actually parry Black Widow. Uh, a lot of champions aren't able to parry her consistently because she reduces their ability accuracy. You can't do that with Archangel. So he can parry her without any problem. Then those neurotoxins shut down pretty much everything. She's not going to be evading or anything like that. And you can see it's just melting her. Okay. So all I had to do in this fight was to fight her like normal. Bait out the special attacks. Heavy didn't even need to fire off specials, which is great because I am running suicides and I don't want to fire specials off because I'll take all that recoil damage. And as you can see, Archangel, after his first fight, looking good. All right. Now, uh, this next fight, uh, I was a little wary of because I had seen and heard people talking about this fight. So uh, I didn't know whether Havoc was going to be good for this fight, but I brought him in here because I figure even if Havoc doesn't take her down, I'll be able to hurt her. That's all I wanted to do was hurt her. Then I can finish her off with pretty much anybody else. Okay, so we're going in here and I'm looking at the power gain and everything. And I hate power gain nodes. I really do. All right, but her specials, not that hard to evade. Uh, now, what is hard for me is to not dash in after she fires a heavy off. So those finger blasts, very annoying, okay? Now you see here I'm unstoppable um, because uh, I'm trying to remember why I was unstoppable. I think that's a random effect that you got. Um, but see here, now I wanted to try and uh, uh, get another heavy off, but I shouldn't have because it pushed her to a special three. And so I was like, okay, I have to fire my special three off. I'm gonna get wrecked, but she's gonna get wrecked before me. Okay, so you can see here, he wasn't ramped up. He could have done a one shot with the special three. Um, I just needed to bait out her specials a little bit more and Havoc could have easily soloed this fight. Um, so that was me, uh, my, my bad playing. You know, maybe I'll give him another try later or I might um, swap him out for somebody else. We'll see, we'll see how I feel uh, when I'm going through for the uh, profile pictures. But she's almost gone, all right? Now, I noticed that it said something about purifying buffs. One of, her, one of the nodes uh, gives her power when she purifies. Well, guess what? She can't purify Apocalypse. Look at the bleeds on her. She's not purifying any of those. You can't purify Apocalypse stuff, all right? So here we go in for the kill, and it's lights out. Uh, Apocalypse could have soloed this fight as well. Um, I brought him in here just for the backup, and I wanted to, you know, just in case I needed him, I wanted to finish off uh, Jubilee uh, so that I could get, you know, some more uh, of his uh, charges. Can't make another horseman though. That's a one and done for the quest, but he gets uh, abilities as well uh, when he gets more of those. All right, so now we're facing Tigra. All her specials are unblockable. I don't like Tigra. She confuses me to no end. However, uh, I'm pretty decent with evading her special one. That special two, I will get wrecked. So my plan, uh, game plan going in here is to bait out her special uh, ones. So I'm going in here with Big Daddy Apocalypse. We're doing parry, heavy, knowing that she's not gonna be able to shrug those off. Remember that this is power shield as well. And Apocalypse does a lot of damage with those specials. If you have uh, debuffs on them, nasty, okay? So we baited out that special. I'm going in for that five hit combo, ending with a special. Look at the damage. Look at that damage, folks. And heal back up. Nasty, all right? So I went in for, again, another five hit combo and finish the fight. That's the only reason I pushed her to a special two because I knew Apocalypse was gonna wreck her. Seriously speaking, if you have Apocalypse and Archangel and just add Cable in for, you know, ease, 
you're going to be able to do this quest with just those guys. You don't really need anybody else. Um, but uh, that was an awesome fight. Uh, Apocalypse, uh, if you saw my crystal opening, this is why I was so happy getting Apocalypse. Apocalypse is legit good. Okay. Game changing for me. All right. So now we're going to be fighting uh, Storm Pyramid X. And I saw some people getting wrecked by her special one. And I was giggling a little bit. Um, but if you can evade her special one, you're golden. Okay? And I learned from uh, 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 Legacy's uh, video that I watched not to talk first. So I did the fight first, and now I'm commenting on it later. You know, so in case I did get wrecked by the special one, you know, I wasn't looking too silly. All right? But straightforward fight here as you can see we're just chewing away at her health okay those uh neurotoxins nasty she fired her special off by the way right as the neurotoxin was about to expire to avoid the stun all right but there we go we were able to take her down without too much difficulty and a pretty straightforward and easy boss rush if you have the right counters and these are not the only counters these are the counters that i found the best given my roster all right now don't go away we will be back and we're going to open up uh that crystal all right so that was fun uh but we're going to open up this crystal i know i don't always open up the crystals um uh, in videos where i did the uh gameplay here as well uh, ooh, we get to choose our profile picture. Hmm. Let's see. I do love me some Storm Pyramid X. We're going to get all of them eventually. But that Storm Pyramid X, I like her. So let's get her first. And that is the side quest done. Let's go on over here to the crystals. All right. Let's uh, open up this crystal here. Wait. Oh, wait, no, that's not the one that I have. That's one that you can purchase there. There we go. All right. Uh, sorry, I don't know why the sound went off like that. Um, but before we do this, let me... I want to take a look. Um, it should let me... There we go. Okay. So, out of this entire pool of champions here, um, Angela, I have, also have as a six star. Black Widow, that's OG Black Widow, I do not have. So, I would love to get an OG Black Widow. Um, I have Claire, I have uh, Deadly Origins. Uh, Captain Marvel, I just got. I would love to awaken her. Her awakened ability is pretty important to me. Um, but then, uh, after all of the rest of these, I have them. Um, and then there's uh, Scarlet Witch. Do not have a Scarlet Witch. So out of this entire pool of champions, I would like to get a Black Widow, Scarlet Witch, or dupe my Captain Marvel. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up and, uh, I'll let it spin out a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have to see what's going on with my sound. I just updated, uh, so that could probably be why it's, uh, messing up, uh, the sound. Uh, but I believe we had sound during my gameplay, uh, earlier getting through the boss rush. Uh, at least I heard it. So... This, uh, it may just be something with uh, uh, air server here. All right, what do we got out of this crystal? Can we get somebody new? Anybody new? Eh, she's not new. Um, I already have her awakened. Uh, so that's going to be 40, I believe. Yep, uh, Sig 40. Okay, well, not bad. Uh, I like the boss rush. The boss rush was pretty uh, quick and easy and you'll you'll you notice those uh six star shards so that's really nice uh let me see here 
Uh, I didn't really count up how many, but that's what I really wanted. All right, so I've got 56,000 six star shards and I'm saving them for when the pool changes. And you can see we have 14 days left uh, on that pool, not the featured. I'm not really concerned with the featured, um, but when that pool changes, uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider will go into the basics for six star. And that's what I'm waiting for. All right, but that's gonna do it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Who did you use during this boss rush? Uh, I will do this boss rush again and get all of the uh, profile pictures. And uh, I'll probably swap out Havoc. Uh, he, he, he did okay, but I played it uh, kind of wrong. Uh, but I'll probably swap him out for someone else. But anyway, uh, take care. And you all have a blessed day.